All right, we're going to be creating our own spreadsheets to track our own stocks. Okay, I want a, I want a cover page with the name of your company and your name on it somewhere. Make it cute and clever. Your goal is to try to get me to invest real money into you. So I'm going to pick a blank one. This is the information I want on every page. When you bought it, the original price, how many you bought. Remember, you get $10,000 per stock for three stocks. Okay, the value of the stocks, percentage change weekly, percentage change overall. So I decided to go with Walmart and Google, but with this one, I'm going to do Qualcomm. So I'm going to click on that, rename Qualcomm, get some local companies going there, Qualcomm. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Google, and I just type in stock price for Qualcomm. There it is. So there's today's price for Qualcomm. 6840. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to put today's date 1030 2016. Okay, if you get some weird number here under a date, when you type in anything with a slash, it kind of goes crazy. So how to fix that is you go to format cell, format cell, go to date. And when you start clicking in a date, you have all these option, options here. Okay, so but that's the one I like. And I already forgot the price. Please hold. 68.40. And how many stocks can I buy with 10,000? Let's find out. 10. Thousand divided by sixty eight point four. So about a hundred and forty six. Hundred and forty six. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to Wednesday the twenty sixth and get their price then. How would I do that? Oh I don't know. I would just go to on ten. 26, 2016, we just asked the Google, the Google knows everything, there it is right there, so go to the closing price, that's the last one, right, 26 closing price, 68.20, again, I'm just pretending that I bought this on the 26th, Okay, value of the stocks. You're going to go up to the function bar. Click your mouse. I'm sorry, your cursor in there. You're going to hit equals. You want the stock price times, let's shift eight, the number of stocks. It should be a little bit under $10,000. There it is right there. And I'm going to type the name of the company in here, Qualcomm. Okay, percent of weekly change. Okay, so there was my original purchase right there. Sorry, this is so confusing. But here's the one that I did today. So the new price is that number of stocks. I want the current value, in other words, today's price, times my 146 stocks. So I'm just cutting and pasting the um, current value in there. The percentage change, I'm going to just click here. I'm going to... Pause the video for a second. I'm going to type in the formula. Okay, so for your weekly change, click the cell. Up into the function bar, you, you type equals. What you do is you take the current price. Oops. You take the current price. That's D11. Subtract last week's price. That's D10. Divided by last week's price. And that is also D10. And then you get a percentage. All right, here's your overall percentage change. You're going to click that cell. You're going to go up to the function bar and type in the following. Hold on one second. And there it is. So what it is, it takes the current value of your stocks, subtracts the original investment. Okay, That's why I typed in the number. There is a trick to that. You can type in another little symbol. I think it's the 
dollar sign, but I kind of forget how that works. Just, so just type in the original amount with using real numbers. So the difference between those two divided by the original value again. So that's that's where that the real numbers come in. Don't forget your parentheses, okay, your order of operations. Hit enter, boom. So these two will be the same for a while, but this, this overall change will start shifting. Last thing is, don't forget the name of your stock. So the name of this stock is Qualcomm, and the stock symbol is QCOM. So that's it.